why do you like saurav joshi he's he's i I'll fucking love him personally yeah, i i love him he uh, he uh, very few things saved me during the lockdown he was one of them yeah a friend of mine ranak ram took he uh, told me you should watch this guy i love shit which is every day yeah you know and which is uh, like cid cid but unadulterated so yeah. not cid yeah. you know and to be honest of course things change for him now and he's massive yeah. and he should be and he has a different life from what he had and mai usko exotify nahi kar raha because he's a real person yeah that's so tough though to not exotify because mostly people talk about yeah you know, the, where where is the simplicity of his life now you yeah, know like, people say they that. talk about creators in a very dehumanized way yeah yeah uh-huh. yeah yeah but uh, with saurabh joshi you know dude and i'm not hyping him but i experience pure moments of cinema in his vlogs yeah yeah and i've not seen those moments of cinema in anyone's vlogs cinema which is unconscious you know cinema which is not he's not trying for it to be cinematic i'll give you so many examples uska jo bhai hai sahil who's the quieter one yeah who's the shy one so when they were staying kahan uh, rehte the ye pehle haryana mein rehte the na haryana mein rehte the you guys know hmm. they were staying in a particular place um, where were they were staying so they had a chhat right so uske one of his vlogs this guy sahil who's usually the quieter one light chali gayi thi so ye sab chhat pe chale gaye they're all sitting mummy daddy mm. you know oreo is also there and this guy who's shy he's actually a very good singer so he starts singing you know and the camera is just placed and this dude is just singing then the entire family joins and they're just singing there's mm. no cut they know the camera's on yeah of course they know the camera's yeah. on but he sings you know it's his way mm. of like uh, how ranbir kapoor says that i'm actually not shy when i'm acting so yeah. this guy was not shy when he was singing you know it was so amazing ek tha when i think he hit he hit one of his many milestones he apne studio mein gaya all his cousins were there sab party party karke chale gaye and he switches on the camera and he says ke sab aaye party hui but humne dance nahi kiya to ab hum dance karenge aur aap hame bas dance karte hue dekho so the camera is on and this is just a minute of these three brothers dancing and it's not for the camera you know it's just him feeling happy and it really really takes you in and i've experienced the same thing very recently in a lot of the south korean films and japanese films like drive my car i don't know if you've seen it i haven't yeah so or if you've seen this film called the burning no yaar maine bahut zyada podcast bana raha hu ye thar is a film student that's why he's not uh-huh. in yeah so they they do these things where the narrative is going on but there is a moment of trance where everything where a moment like i'll give you an example of drama ga this is not a plot uh, spoiler this woman uh, jo bande ki wife hoti hai she thinks of stories when she's having sex hmm. you know so there's a camera which is top angle and as she's orgasming she starts talking about this story that she's that is coming to her it seeped in the reality but it lifts reality you know it takes you to this trance you're like oh wow what the hell Mm. that i experienced in his vlogs you know this complete suspension of life ke dhanche mm. you know wo khul gaya a popular example of it which is manufactured but works beautifully is kun fire kun this guy looking up samajh gaya you know that it just breathes yeah you know yeah i kind of like the one vlog that really hooked me to his stuff i haven't watched it in a while is it's this uh, shravan kumar archetype that is kind of playing out one of these days uski mummy bimar ho jati hain parivar mein aur do teen aurte bimar ho jati papa bhi bimar ho jate hain he should take the kids around to somewhere so he what he does is a different different errand run karne hain because you have to also realize as no matter how successful he becomes as a content creator yeah he still lives in a joint esk family Absolutely. so he is not absolved of his responsibilities and india ke andar ek jo trope hum log कम कवर करते हैं वो एर एंड बॉय वाला एर एंड बॉयज हम लोग बहुत साल तक रहते हैं अपनी फैमिलीज के अंदर समवन हायर्स लाइक यू नो एक्चुअल लोग वो काम करने के लिए नो मैर हाउ ओल्ड यू आर लाइक यू रिमेन एन एर एंड बॉय एंड यू नो लाइक लॉर ऑफ रिच पीपल हैव दिस किंग दे वॉन्ट टू बी एर एंड बॉयज फॉर द फैमिली बट दे के नॉट बी यू नो लाइक लाइक ऐसा एक डिस्पैरिटी आ रहा था जब बोलते हैं कुछ नहीं यार अंडे और ब्रेड लेने जा रहा हूँ ओ यार कांट रिलेट यू नो लाइक लाइक दैट सो it's funny that no matter how much success he gets he still has to kind of aid all of his elders and his family yeah take all these kids around 
and you know like sort of is lanky and like he short is driving this huge ass fortuner yeah. bacche ja rahe hain sare sare leke ja rahe hain wo raju chacha shravan kumar wali bhai baat hi really really enjoyed yeah, yeah. this erin boy reminds me of this beautiful scene in oi lucky lucky hoy yeah where he is asking for a bike and mm. parisha like bike chahiye tujhe kya karega bike guys like ghar ke kaam hote hain mutton lao कूलर ठीक करवाओ उसको उसकी यूनिफॉर्म ले आओ तो घर का काम अब मैं बाइक पर ही करूंगा सो या दैट एरन बॉय रिमाइंडेड मी ऑफ इट या वेरी ब्यूटीफुल फिल्म इवन कोसला का घोस लाइफ यू थिंक रणवीर शौरी इज द एरन बॉय इज द इज द ओल्डर एरन बॉय हु डजंट फाइंड एन आउटलेट इनटू अ बेटर लाइफ सो इज लाइक जी मैं वो वो जिंदगी बन जाती है 